In this video we will talk about the inventory setup screen inventory being merchandise items that you sell. That can be found in the company screen and then by clicking on inventory setup. In this particular database we already have a lot of inventory items created. We can highlight any particular inventory item and click edit and change the values. In terms of creating an item or items we're going to click add on the right hand side and put in a description. So we'll call this item test item. It could be boxes, locks, anything that you sell. The amount represents what you're selling it for. The tax rate, if you have one tax rate or two tax rates, put them in here. If you don't have a tax rate for merchandise, put zeros. Cost of goods, it is how much the particular item costs you. So in this case, we're selling it for 10. Maybe we get it for five. So selling for 10, costing for five. When this is sent over to an accounting program like QuickBooks, we will show the income of 10. We will also have the cost of goods sold of 5, giving you your net income of 5. We'll also have an entry to reduce uh, an account called merchandise supply, so your inventory will go down from your accounting system also. In stock relates to how much you literally have on hand, so maybe we have 100 items in this particular case. Whenever an item is sold, that in stock value will go down for our reporting. So if I sell one, it would be 99 left in stock. Our order point relates to at what point would we want to be notified by SiteLink that we need to get more of this particular item. Maybe it's 10. When we get down to 10, we want to be notified of that. It'll be notified in the reminder screen for you to get more of this particular item. For the account, this is the chart of account item, the income item that this will go to for your accounting system. If you're not exporting to an accounting system, just highlight the first item. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but know that you can differentiate between different income items. So we could have our own income for boxes, our own income for locks, and down the line for any item that's on the screen. If we click currently use, this means that it's available to be sold from both the move in screen, from the payment screen, and then there will be a button called walk in POS for people that don't have units with you, but they come into your facility to buy merchandise. We have a barcode option. If you click here on barcode help, it'll tell you the particular barcode scanner that you can buy, and then you could put actual barcodes on your item so that when you sell an item, you could scan the particular barcode, and that will put up the price and reduce the inventory. We can put in who we're buying it from, what their phone number is, what the part number is, and then the barcode number. All that can be displayed here. And click OK to finalize it. Yes, we want to add an entry, and then there's our test item here. On the right hand side we have a batch edit tax rate. In this case all of our merchandise items have this, the same tax rate or they should, but in your particular state or wherever you are in the world, if one day your tax rate changes for merchandise, it can be tedious if you have a lot of items to go in for each one and edit the tax rate. We can have a batch edit tax rate where I can enable and choose that all or some of these items now have this particular tax rate and then save it and it'll change the tax rate for all the items. I mentioned earlier that you can go to the reminder screen to see items that you need to reorder. There's also a reorder report here that'll tell you that. Be aware of your inventory items as part of your process of, of running the self storage facility you should be making sure that your inventory count is correct. We also have a button on the right hand side called inventory adjustments where we can increase or decrease our inventory for reasons such as getting a new shipment our inventory would go up and we click close to go out of the screen. 